I want to totally transform the way you cook your eggs. If you watch my last videos where I rank the books of Heston Blumenthal, then you will know that I picked one book to come out on top. Spoilers if you haven't watched it, it was Heston Blumenthal at home, packed with recipes that are approachable and fun, uh, yet stretch you a little bit and still lots of information about good food theory. I want to cook one from there today that really illustrates what this book is all about. And as you've probably seen from the title of this video, it's scrambled eggs. But obviously being Heston, it's not just scrambled eggs, it's cooking scrambled eggs sous vide. This is a sous vide oven or water bath. Sous vide means cooking under vacuum. You vacuum pack your food and then cook it in a water bath, usually at lower temperatures than you might expect. For example, I've set mine to 75 degrees today. You can see it just warming up round there. The idea behind sous vide is quite simple. By raising water to a certain temperature and then storing your food in there in a vacuum packed bag, it hits that temperature and no more. It's a really popular method for cooking steak and other large joints of meat, but it works really well with other vegetables like sweet corn and carrots and asparagus. Um, there's loads of great things you can do with it. And this method of cooking scrambled egg really shows it off. Here's the prep. So I'm gonna combine enough for one portion here. That's butter that's been melted. It's only about 10 grams in there. 10 ml of cream, 10 ml of milk, three eggs, a pinch of salt. I'm just gonna whisk all of those together, nice and thoroughly, pour them into a vacuum bag, and then seal it using my vacuum sealer. The sous vide machine itself, this is a particularly pricey model, but there are much more budget options available with the ANOVA uh, and other wands under the name Circulation Immersion Wand and things like that. And you can even find one sometimes in the budget discounters Aldi and Lidl if you look around their middle aisles. So with that sealed into a bag, we are ready to start cooking. My machine is now at temperature at 75 degrees, so I'm going to pop the eggs in and let's get cooking. Now, we're only at 75 degrees, but it still can be a bit uh, nasty to the touch, so... So that's literally it. There's my eggs, completely runny. Just gonna fold it over so it stores a little easier in my bath. going to help weigh it down. So this method takes about 15 minutes and I'm going to get the bag out every four or five minutes and give it a squish which is basically like stirring it. So I'll see you in five minutes. So my eggs have had five minutes. Let's take a look, see how they're getting on. Got a tea towel here because obviously that's not boiling water, but not a million miles away. I mean, where it's a bit thinner near the top, it started to coagulate. Where there's still a lot of egg, still very liquidy. I can see changes in colour, but not a lot going on yet. But I'm going to give it a good squish around just to mix the egg up and pop it back for another five minutes. I think this recipe really demonstrates Heston's principles using a little bit of science and a little bit of technology just to take an ordinary dish and just make it better. But even if you don't want to use the sous vide method, which I totally get, um, even the addition of a little brown butter at the end, that's going to make all the difference. Just see. So at 10 minutes, there's definitely a change from liquid to solid. It's more like a thick custard now and a little shy of how I like my eggs. So they're going back in for a few more minutes. Now, while that finishes cooking, Heston recommends a liberal dose of brown butter to act as a seasoning on the final dish. Uh, it's simply butter that's been melted slowly. If you turn up the heat slightly so it starts to sizzle, we're getting rid of some of that water, just melting it down. That's only about 10 grams in there. And that's just going to start to separate into the solids and the liquids. The milk fats are going to separate away and you can actually smell it getting nutty. So once it hits that stage, you're just going to turn off the heat and strain it off. Um, I'm using a coffee filter paper and something called a V60, but 
anything where you can strain it through a piece of kitchen roll or something like that, um, just so you're collecting the liquid only. I'm just going to save that and use that in the end of the dish. So that has been our 15 minutes. So let's take a look. You can see there the egg is more or less solid. That's just about where I like it. Your eggs, your bath may differ somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes anyway. Just pause every few minutes, give it a little squish around so that the liquid is breaking up. I'm just going to add some of that brown butter. Obviously you can drizzle it on with a teaspoon if you're not a weirdo like me. Mm. So creamy. Just full of egg flavour and that brown butter really adds a layer of seasoning that's rich, that it's sweet and savoury at the same time. Just perfect. Mm. So, the advantage is that method, you can cook quite a big batch of eggs at the, all at the same time and leave them in there and it, the, it'll be harder to overcook it. The downside is you need a sous vide setup. There we go, that's Heston Blumenthal's sous vide scrambled eggs. I'm going to go and finish these. Why don't you go and watch that video where I sous vide some gammon uh, and see what you think of that technique. Um, otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.